Hi, this is Jerry Koontz, the Electronic Resources Consultant for the Ramapo Catskill Library System. And today I would like to show you some tips and tricks for reducing the size of uh, your mail account. Um, each uh, mail account user that we have set up in our Smarter Mail system has been allotted a certain amount of space and uh, it's very easy to just ignore um, your mail folders as you grow them and run out of space. So there are a couple things you can do. The first thing to do is to check your file storage area, um, which is where you upload files that are too large to send as attachments. Um, and what you do is you upload these files into your file storage area and then send people just a link that would allow them to retrieve these files. So these files in uh, file storage are usually very large and they count against your mail account storage allotment. So one easy thing you can do is just get rid of any files you have in file storage and that will free up space in your account. So I'm going to get rid of this one file which is 3.6 megabytes. So that's one way to free up space in your account. The other way, of course, is to go through and delete unneeded mail. Now, <clears throat> it makes sense that you um, can free up a lot of space very quickly if you target deleting the emails that have large attachments with them. And you can find those by going to each folder for instance, I'm going to go to my deleted items folder right now. Um, so I'm seeing all the messages I have deleted, and now I'm going to sort them. Now, by default, um, the way you want to sort uh, your mail is by date, descending, meaning the most recent ones are listed first, and it shows you all messages that are in the folder. I'm going to change this now, so instead of showing all messages, messages in my deleted folder. I'm going to show just the ones with attachments. And I'm going to have it sort by size. So now I have taken my deleted item folder and I have sorted it so that it's just showing the messages with attachments and it is showing the largest ones. So now I'm going to Hit the selection button so I can select multiple of these mail messages that all have very large attachments. And now I'm going to delete these ones I have selected. And just by going through and deleting a handful of uh, emails that have very large attachments, you can free up lots of space. Now, Having said that, once you sort your mail a, uh, that way, you need to reset this so that it goes back to showing you all mail in the folder. If you set the sorting a different way and then log off, once you log back on again, it will remember that sorting criteria that you had selected before. So this is the way you want to reset it back to date descending, and all. You can also have it uh, sort um, mail in a folder by date ascending so that it shows the oldest messages first. So I have gone through and the oldest message that I have in my deleted folder is one from October 14th. So this is a way where I could just go through and select multiple items that now are old. I don't need to keep them anymore. And I can just delete them. So those are a few short little tricks that you can use that can free up lots of space in your email account. Thank you for listening.